Welcome to another video from our Chinese warlords into Emperor of China campaign. Remember, we started as Shun, well, we started as Ming, then released ourselves as Shun. United China got all of these nations as the tributary states. We've got so far 21% all power scores from Golden Era, 10% from the mission tree, and of course, a bit from the innovativeness. And what's interesting, we also got a mission that gives us plus one monarch power tribute from tributary states, thanks to which I'm right now getting 51 yearly mana from all of these subjects. But we are just getting started because I can go to government reforms, I can go over here to representatives of the crown, which is another monarch power tribute from the tributary states, let me go and take it. Uh, which makes me get a couple of more, how many subjects we have? And under 19 mana, so right now we're getting 70 points yearly! And I'm gonna spawn it even more by getting not like 19 of the tributary states, but after today's video, I'm gonna have over a hundred of subjects. How? You'll see! Today's video is sponsored by Atlas VPN, which is a cyber security app with over 6 million followers worldwide. And I'm not coming empty handed, because with our special code, you can get Atlas VPN for 3 years for less than $2 a month and free months extra included in the package. You might ask, why do I use the Atlas VPN? Well, you can unlock the content that is not available in your country. It could be a TV series on Netflix, or maybe in my case, accessing websites and stores in US or in the Middle East for work. Atlas VPN will help keep your Google searches safe, so you get a true organic results without any tracking on your previous activity. You can stop any ads and malware trying to steal your data or poison your devices, or even save some money while shopping online. What is very important, you can use this app in multiple devices, like for example in the app in the phone or on your desktop. So if you want to go and enjoy the special offer, so free year deal for less than $2 a month and 3 months extra, you can go to the pinned comment as well as video description and use the special link that is available over there. I'll definitely start with cancelling card ideas, they feel really kind of not so useful for us. Maybe Monday growth was nice, but my Monday growth is great without it. So let me cancel card ideas. I've wasted like 10 power points, but I can go ahead and take instead of that influence ideas. And this is because together with mercenary are giving us possibility to create client states. So let's say I conquer Hor India, I can release 200 different uh, tributary states over there. Of course it's gonna be a client state, then I have to cancel it, and then I have to make them my tributary. And uh, this way, infinite mana is coming. So let me go ahead for influence. Of course I'm not having any more finished uh, ideas, but it's fine. Keep in mind uh, I'm getting 13 diplomana monthly and another 70 every January, so I'm gonna finish it very quickly. I need also America ideas, of course, but I'm gonna unlock them on tech 14. On a side note, something that I forgot also to mention, we have a 1.7 thousand development, which is because we developed like 300, 400 times already. It is development and promises. The Pioneer Pavilion by Tank Shanzu. 100 Splendor, 3 Innovativeness, 1 Admin Point for our Ruler, which is already 6, so that's gonna convert into a hundred. No, no, Diplo, okay, so 6, 5, 6 ruler we're gonna get. Well, this is just lovely. How about Splendor? We are we be using that on anything? I don't think so. I still having plenty of admin mana. I'll use that to keep uh, leveraging the all local organizations, and I'll be leveraging the Bujengshi, which is giving us uh, one base tax in every province in the state, which is, well, plenty of development. Uh, local tax meta and the whole, the whole state and let's gaff capacity costs. So it's very useful and obviously we'll be leveraging that in our most uh, developed provinces like here of course. I already used that. So you know this way the development keeps going 1677, 1699 and in, in the tax meta is increasing together with that. Why with meal points I'll be deving my provinces like for example Luju. I'm sure you would like to be developed for five points per click. Ah, it's fine, wrong culture. I guess we're gonna fix that a bit later. So, 
Mr. Japan. I'll send one stack on the north to conquer the Manchurian provinces and of course one stack through the ships. The Ilan Hala. Okay. You go take care of these provinces and you land in so oh what is this ship whoa 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 i'm so sorry japan you wanted to fight in the navy not this time once i landed in satsuma you can easily take another 24k and land here almost immediately even if those guys i think they they will be trying to attack us but how they are tech 10 deck 12 i could take tech 13 if i wanted to for just 900 points but there's no need for that now the question is can i wipe them can i wipe them can i 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 well the karmic loot is not that bad uh, well of course you don't have any chance look at my siege ability by the way 45 percent which means we're only taking 14 days for each siege phase now if you're thinking from where i'm getting this siege ability well we're getting definitely 20 percent from offensive ideas another 10 percent from our national ideas and another 10 percent from an event you know i'll just go ahead and release nations that requires the least of war score and then remember we can't diplomatically make them our tributary states if you're not bordering them this is why you can see i'm taking also a couple of provinces they're just perfect to border as many nations as possible. For example, I shouldn't take Mutsu because I can't really do anything with it. So Nambu should not be released. Instead, I'm going to take a province here. And just, I think it's the same with So. I can't really do anything with it. Let's just do this. And we should be all good, I believe, right now. There will be a bit of a border gore in Japan for sure. But uh, this is nothing bad, don't worry. Just do that, start coring all of these provinces, and then. Yep, just let's get diplomat. Tick, tick, and tick. Remember, each of the tributary states equals two points yearly. Of course, it will be easier once I finish mercenary ideas. So be establishing tributaries uh, just on the nations, uh, the clients that are released. But Japan is still pretty good because there are plenty of nations here with only one province. Also, as this is not my region, I could even add all of these provinces to a trade company. And honestly, why don't I do that? Now, this is 10 new subjects, which means 20 more mm, yearly of the points. I'm of course not slowing down because my next uh, step is uh, Malacca, where I'm gonna call Pasai. And ba just pass as a co-belligent, because I'm gonna make them my tributary state as well. One disadvantage of making many tributaries is that the stronger tributaries can attack smaller tributaries without you doing anything. That's what Ayufaya keeps doing. Look how huge they are. So the moment I'll be able to start releasing the client states, I'm gonna cancel my tributary on Ayufaya and I'm gonna kick their ass to release many nations here. Mr. Barus, welcome to the tributary states family. I think I'm just gonna take... This province from them to get a uh, border with Pagarayung to also make them my tributary. So, welcome to the family. I guess it's gonna happen the same to Pahagan's uh, Pasai. Well, in the meantime, I should attack Delhi uh, because their overlord uh, Malacca cannot protect them. Tier 8 guarantee form. Look, it's 1553. We are going really fast because we're getting plenty of modifiers to the growth. Uh, tier 8 uh, is gonna give us the Lokian Proviso which is good for modifier and another development cost. By the way, with pretty much maximum mandate, it's time for another reform. I already have one, two, three of them. The question is, what is next? And I will go for the admin efficiency. All state influence and all of the members of the Emperor will also get uh, max episodes, which is, of course, not really useful for them. See, I'm already finishing the influence ideas. Thank you, thank you, thank you. What were the policies that we have here? A lot of class border increase, monthly favor growth, nothing really special. But what's here? Reinforce cost and deep put. I think uh, what I have, so artillery level versus force is just more useful. So I still have plenty of points and plenty of death cost modifiers. I think I'm gonna develop institution because Korea is pretty slow. And uh, we have a couple of choices. We should ideally find a province that is not having much development it's having good death cost modifier and it's next to very much developed province like nanjing so for example shuzu could be good 
but it's having 20 development already. This is heals, so not perfect. Maybe something here. This is 16 death. I think this might be very good. Especially if I go ahead and get uh, Beijing on level 3. Let me take alone. Let me decrease uh, Luazhu to level 2. Take Beijing to level 3. Expand infrastructure here. So now I'm diving for 7, but in fact, we are diving for 5 points. And yeah, let's just go ahead. There it goes. I'm not spending Adrimana because remember. Tech 14 is very important for us because Tech 14 means new idea group unlocked. Now with this done, you can go and check. Yeah, it has to start spreading. So let's start with getting the advanced effort here and also advanced effort here later. And uh, here I can do it already, but later also here. But preparing for this institution, let me go and uh, one person knows. Have to cancel one of these policies. Tax meta, yeah, let's just screw tax meta and give me one person loans. I could repay some of these loans thanks to this. Let's repay no one person loans and still have money. And from now on, I'll be saving money for the institution, which will cost us more or less 5,000. As I'm about to take tech 14 in America ideas, this is time to switch all of this, not to manpower, to mill points. No, not the FCRC 1557. Those 20 mandate, I, I was just getting it back. <sighs> and 9 development loss and 50 devastations Shanxi area. Oh, that's the capital area, isn't it? <sighs> well, I mean, at least this fort is gonna regain everything, but since I'm making really a lot of power points... <sighs> let's fix it. By the way, would this do anything? No, of course not. I can afford it, guys. This is fine. What I cannot afford is, is the way the best province is having devastation. Of course, it doesn't matter in the country calculation, but you know, it's just a matter of roleplay. Now, look what will happen. After next month, thing, I'll get to 260 power point. That's for my monthly gain. And then it's also January. 260? Yes. And then 340. Yes. 80 mana yearly already. Continue my expansion to Indonesia. I will start with Lanfang, which I will make my tributary state. But then there's also plenty of other wars. So for example, Berau, Kutai and Banjar. I could potentially make each of them my tributary, yes. And uh, why from Sunda I'll take a province just to get a claim of them for the future, but also a claim from Bramgangan on how it is pronounced. Yeah, 5,000 for institution. Let's take a couple of loans, even though I took too many. But it's fine. Take this, uh, take this, just 900 points. Uh, Wait, it doesn't give me pros uh, it doesn't give me innovativeness? Somebody took tech 14 before us. Is it Korea? Who the hell took it? Anyway, take it and unlock the Merrick ideas. Which I can start feeling very quickly and every January it's gonna be, you know, another plenty of points. Harmonization of Mahajana Faith is giving us idea cost 10% at the end of the game, which is really useful. And it means that the next Mercen idea is gonna cost us 248 points. Isn't that lovely? In any case, I will go to religion. I might wait. Or should I? I'm just thinking. Should I wait just a little bit? Yeah, how nice something else because what kind of bonuses I could get? Trade efficiency, deep reputation, advisor cost, production efficiency, or infantry combat ability. And probably I would go for Shinto, just as it would take so much time. I'll wait a little bit to increase our harmony first. Or you know what? Nah, doesn't matter, just go for Shinto. I was thinking how to get into Philippines with the tributaries. And I'm gonna attack Brunei, which is allied to Sulu. And look, Sulu is allied to multiple nations here, so you know what I will do. I will uh, make Sulu co -belligent. Then I'm just thinking if I should make anyone else. Mugaidando, that's more. Cebu? No, I mean, I can just for easier peace out. And this boys. Now, this war, of course, is gonna be a pretty big amount of the nations to fight. 
But it's also a pretty big amount of donations to make a tributary state out of. What do you guys I'm stupid? I was, you know, just going through the tributaries and counting them manual. How many tributaries do I have? Why I just have to go to Empire of China and they have all the information needed here. Well, we've got a famine, which is the managed stability. 50% goods price modifier? For 10 years? This is severe. Or I pay money. So I'm gonna pay you $100 to fuck off. And it's less. Or pay 9,000 ducats and 100 army mana, but I get only minus 10%. And I think that's what I'm gonna do because look, look just 10% is 260, decrease to 252, and over month tick to 246. Imagine if it was 50%. There we go with the last mercenary idea, uh, which is, as mentioned, I'm not even gonna use mercs, okay? It's mainly can create client state. It's also another bonus to Marx, which I don't really need. And I'll just change uh, this one into years into this. And I will start using some client states. But remember, still to later, if I make, make them a tributary, I need to still to border them. So it has to be really done smart. Interesting, guys. Probably Bengal miscalculated because Bengal attacked Tsang, which is a subject of Chagatai, which means I'm gonna go be called into this war because Chagatai is uh, my tributary state. And honestly, as I'm at war with Bengal, I'm gonna attack Taungu because Bengal cannot help them. Uh, and actually, I'll go for the conquest, just so I have the castles building on Bengal to make them my tributary. Oh, 1 to 2 is not an air that I'm looking for, so good night. Little update on the amount of the tributaries. We've got 51 of them, most of Indonesia is already ours. Let's take a look how many of the meal points are gonna be. So after the math tick we should get it to 99. And how much I will get it from the tributaries? 99? 150 million military mana. And we are just getting started. You know what's the big disadvantage that I released all of these small nations in Japan? Well, Japan allied pretty much all of them, well, maybe not all of them, but half of them. Uh, so I guess this is fine, I'll just uh, make each one of them my tributary again. Now let's take a look what we can do. Let's start with Shinano. How about... I didn't take the change here yet. I was just like, why can't I create it? Tick, tick, tick. Then we have to break the facilization. That's the worst. Oh, see what I see here. Prestige was okay, but it's minimizing the amount of like how we can do this. But the opinion modifier will be problematic, or maybe it won't. It will. It will. It will. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, we have. Well, we'll just have to do it uh, manually after five years. So won't even. Yeah, it's fine. It's fine, it's fine. We just have to keep the border to be able to do that. That's why I can also risk Echu. And it's the same case I will do here. And same I can do in Ovadi. Because everything can be done from Mino. So it's all good. It's just, you know, prestige part hurts. But I'm not that much worried about this. The best army quality of uh, the words, and just look at this. 3.9 morale. They attack 13, I take 15, right? That explains a lot. Also, oh, if I is trolling me hard, all the nations that I released here, you know, to turn them into my tributaries, they turn them into their own tributaries. So I guess the next time I'll be fighting with Ayofaya, which is in seven years. I'm gonna kick ass with every single of these tributaries. This is also why, whenever possible, we have to focus on peace dislike with Bengal, where I'm taking like one, two, three, four, four provinces, and I'm releasing plenty of nations, and to each of these nations, I have a border with them. Which means, just after the war end, sick, every single of these nations will love to become my tributary. Another oopsie that is Japan, instead of killing this entirely and releasing tributaries everywhere, I just made them my tributary, which is, see? The United Japan! <laughs> Why, I couldn't do anything with that. My main focus now is to kill these big nations that keep killing my tributaries. 
Japan, you can see it's ongoing. Jiangsu, I just declared war on them. Ayufaya is ongoing. Oh, yeah, I'll have to do the same with Bachma. They killed like five different tributaries I had here. And I'm gonna release them as soon as our truce ends. I finally have this visibility on Europe. And look at this Denmark. Austria's a monster. Actually in the middle of conquering Russia. This Akkoyunnu, I've never seen this level of Akkoyunnu. Timur is of course pretty big. Uh, Naples conquering Tunis. This is an interesting Europe. I just took 7th Celestia reform. And that's also at the same time possibly to take tier 10 government reform, which is GAF capacity, cooperation cost, possible policies, or worse core cost versus other religions. And honestly, I'm thinking between GAF capacity and worse core cost. Let's go for the worse core cost. GAF capacity, it's gonna be fine. I have buildings. As we're getting close to absolutism, I think it's time to start caring about estates and to be exact cancelling the privileges. So let me just go for the ones that take the most of absolutism. Like for example, this one taking 15%, this one taking 10%, another 10%. Ideally, I'll probably just end up having mana and maybe cheaper advisors. I'm not even so sure about the cheaper advisors, considering how many bonuses I have and how plenty of money I'm generally having. Maybe except now when I'm paying so much for the states. Yeah, I should probably clear the state addicts. Oof, yeah, I should, I should clear our state addicts. This shouldn't be 28. Yep, it's 10 instead. Another thing that I should do is look how many provinces I have in the sea on trees not. I believe that if I add all of them to the trade company, there's a big chance of me, and yeah, I'll find them, of me getting an additional merchant here, 12%. Oh yeah, I don't have any trade centers here. I'm so sorry, Mr. Bachman is for this crime against Border Gore, but this is something I have to do for plenty of tributaries. And you asked for this. You killed too many of my tributaries to not be severely punished. Now, with this done, just take a look. Marvar, welcome. Navarganar and everyone that I just released, come and join the tributary empire. So with this done, we already add 90 tributaries and I've got a bit of prestige to, well, enough prestige to release another two tributaries, which are gonna be probably in Mahur and Manidgurk. And I really need to spend all of my mana because I'm at points cap and January is coming. Just remember, when we started this video, we had 1.7 thousand development, right? Now, now it's 1,000 more and I did not expand almost at all. Look, orange is 20. It's practically in the whole country. I'm just thinking because a lot of my truces will end around 16, 7, 16, 8. So let's maybe wait with breaking tributary over VJ. They already killing Fandra. No, I'm cancelling right away. I'm so sorry, VJ. But I'm not gonna allow you just kill my tributaries because next they will attack Telingana, then they will attack Pagana. No, 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 not gonna happen. The closure of China. I can choose to close China to the outside world. That's Hadimana. Provincial trade power 40%, but increased idea cost and institutional spread decreased. Or keep the trade open for all. I'll lose stability, I'll lose provincial trade power, but in exchange, I'm gonna get tech cost and idea cost. Honestly, it's not an easy choice because I rather need more money than mana. Ooh, so I'm not so sure what to choose here. You know what? Screw it. You might yell at me that wasn't worth mana, blah, blah, blah. I'm generating so much mana, uh, it's fine. And I don't think this is also gonna change my income much by seven ducats. But as soon as I embrace the institution, I should be able to take around 11 value out of Chengdu which I really need. You know what's the worst part of this strategy? <laughs> Beautiful Austria, <laughs> huge Russia. The worst part of this strategy is that the game performance is just terrible because I have to observe all of the subjects, troops. So the game is gonna see how laggy it is. Uh, I hate it. Also, look at these manufacturers. I could start a bit link. Uh, I'm gonna take loans. Up to the moment where my balance is around zero. 
Okay. So that's 26,000 ducats. Pretty nice. We have 26 out of 67 loans, so it's really not a problem. And I'll go ahead and invest into all of this beautiful manufactories, which should be around the amount of money that we're paying extra for interest now. Oh, you know what? I just noticed that I have construction costs increased from a regency, which ends in like a year. We just double check if we can still cancel all these buildings. Yeah, they own at zero percent. Let's cancel. And I'm gonna build them, but after Regency ends. And something I forgot that also impacts uh, Mandate is the loans that I took, but I don't think it has much of an impact for us. On the other day, another Border Guard, this time against Bengal, and uh, that's yet another Border goal that is allowing us to establish plenty of new tributaries. With extra prestige, it's also additional to subjects, which I'm immediately releasing, and then of course cancelling to make them tributaries. I think that trade company here in India might actually work. I added everything I had to the trade company. This is going to invest into this improvement as well. Uh, let's take a look. It's 43%. So besides that, we could go ahead Improve the trade center number one. This one is already improved. Uh, the trade building is here. We need a trade building here as well. My just the money is as promised going to manufacturers. The cult of the white lotus. It's plenty of rebels and the mandate. So you could say, oh yeah, it's fine. The arrival of the Jesuits. There's so many events just from China. So yes, we may benefit from the learning. That's gonna change the original Imperak to Catholic. It's gonna be 300 mana and increase relations with all of the Catholics that I'm aware of. It seems so. Or reject and get 50 out of mana. But it's just one promise that is affected, right? Well, I will go for it. <laughs> That's again plenty of mana to spend on. Rant, I don't know, 300 with Japan. Of course, again, they allied half of my two retires over here. But it's fine, I'm gonna keep killing them. My new heir is freaking free one one. I have to get rid of him. But of course, first, uh, we have to get to positive prestige. It's gonna be a plenty of new subjects coming in a very short term. Because besides we're with Japan, let's go after Ayufaya. And why it's worth Ayufaya? I'm gonna aim on all of the tributaries. Never stopping, we are at 103 tributaries. Let's go and take care of Vijay now. And that's gonna be Conquest of Konansema. Plenty of new tributaries coming. I think some of these might have been my tributaries already. One, two, three. Yeah, I lost four of them, but we already regave them easily. It's also time to take a couple of more loans. And embrace the institution. Yeah, a few points doesn't matter. And take all of these free technologies. Which allows us uh, to have 12 admin efficiency. Age of Absolute is here. Which means, I'm at the points cap, <laughs> I can almost take this, our max absolute is 40. How about we start with spending some mil points to increase our meritocracy and with that also absolutism. It's also time for a peace deal with uh, Vijay. Alright guys, I think that's gonna be it. Look at our uh, maybe player's map mode. It could be bigger if I was not constantly fighting Ayufaya, Bahwan and Vijay, but it's still worth for us to keep ruling smaller nations. Otherwise, the bigger nations would be killing the smaller nations. So I might have a few points less than I could, because Vijay was like 10, Bahwan is same. Well, it's fine. What's important is that quantity, 108 subjects. Now I'm gonna go ahead and change each subject to give me mil points and let's see how much mana yearly we can get out of this. Okay, yeah, about to hit January. So before that, let me just go ahead and spend all the mil points. Doesn't matter where, as soon as we have a little number of it. So let's see, we have 20 points without tributaries. How much is it gonna give us? Another 260 yearly Mana. And if you wanted to compare it to like monthly numbers, it's like we are getting almost 22 points 
monthly and it's not like you're getting it once and then you have to fight first no you just keep getting it every single year so like comparing to what i'm getting right now just 33 points monthly only for the tributaries and thanks to this that's why i have a bit tall country with our development here so guys if you did enjoy this campaign and our nice mana generation compared to the other great powers remember to leave a like on this video and of course subscribe to the channel to get notified about the future content and at last keep in mind the great offer for the atlas vpn which you can grab from the link in the video description bye